morning. I'm Karen Oliver. I'm going to be with you this short period of time to try to talk about a little bit about piping in EPC, EPC project, okay? Uh, the idea of this uh, presentation is to introduce to everyone uh, the, the work that piping department does inside an EPC project, okay? What we do, what we need to work, okay? And what is what what we really uh, the piping work in, is inside a, a a big project, okay? So, what is a piping system? The piping system is the main the the the, the main way to carry all the fluid and product on a pipe on a a plant, okay? In a refinery. As I mentioned here, the piping is the most commonly way to use to, tra to transport a fluid from one point to another point, okay? It's the most common and the most economical uh, <coughs> way to, to do it, okay? The piping system inside a project, okay, represent the, um, closely the 30% of the hours of engineering phase, okay? T between, depending of the, of course, of the, of the unit, okay? But Normally, it's between the 30 and the 35 percent of the hour of an engineering inside a project. Okay, for example, uh, in a uh, this is what I'm calling you in a petrochemical or in a refinery. The be between the 25 and the 30 percent of material of the the, the 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 budget of the material is spent on piping. Okay, between the 30 and the 35 percent of the man hour is spent on piping, okay? And then the close to the 40% of the construction and the engineer and direction is regarding to all the work relating to piping, okay? So with this percentage, what I want to explain to, to everyone that piping is uh, we have a lot of work to do during an engineering phase, during the procurement, during the, the installation, and during all the tests and and a startup of the of the unit, okay? So all of this work that we do, and we interconnect everyone on a project, okay? We, inter we, we are the connecting between the equipment, between civil, between the project, between procurement, between construction, okay? We are like the veins and the artery of the human body, okay? We are there. It's like no one sees us. Well, of course you see the pies, but we, we are the ones that connect everyone, okay? So in order that we are able to perform this job and to connect the work of every other disciplines, okay, we need to do a teamwork, okay? Piping cannot work alone in a project, okay? I, ca I need some information from other disciplines to work, okay? But I cannot do it isolated, okay? I need to work together with other disciplines and to share, okay? So, Mm, my idea of this presentation is to tell you what I need from other disciplines as piping, okay? W what I will generate to the project, okay? And the, and the idea is that everyone understand what piping does and how the other discipline influence on, on our work, okay? Because in that way, okay, we can work together in a, in, in a better way, okay? For example, if I'm from Bessel department, my job is to buy and design the vessel, okay? But if I understand how my vessel is in relationship with the piping, and, and piping understand how is the vessel, we can work together to fix and to minimize problems, okay? Because sometimes piping say something like with process, I cannot work with this temperature, I cannot work with this. And we do that because we have to, at the end, to mix and interact everything, okay? So we are, mm, the one that we need to work with all and to try to make that everyone, everything match, okay? So the idea of this percentage is for you to know how big is our project, okay? Imagine, for example, for a regular unit, a hydrocracker unit, okay? Maybe we have 150, 200 piece of equipment, okay? Between rotating equipment, static equipment, okay? Thank you. 